Bath and North East Somerset Council want to make some changes to Bath City Centre. The changes aim to reduce the risk of terrorism and keep people safe. Terrorism is when someone does something violent that puts other people's lives in danger. The changes are also aimed at reducing the amount of traffic on Milsom Street and Kingsmead Square. This is a report about the changes and how they will affect disabled people. What are the changes? Avon and Somerset Police have told Bath and North East Somerset Council to create a security zone in the city centre. A security zone is an area where driving is not allowed. This is to help keep everyone safe from terrorism. The council also want to change how people use Milsom Street and Kingsmead Square. They want to stop most vehicles from being able to use these roads. This includes vehicles driven by disabled people, someone supporting a disabled person, and people with a blue badge. This is a badge that lets you park closer to where you're going if you are disabled. Asking people what they think. Last year, the council asked people what they thought about the changes they want to make to Bath City Centre. 522 people told the council what they thought. A lot of these people were worried about how the changes would affect the way disabled people use the city centre. Over half of these people did not want the changes to happen. How the changes would affect disabled people. We looked at how the changes would affect disabled people who have different types of disability, live in the city centre, work in the city centre, use shops or services in the city centre or who are visiting the city centre on a day trip or holiday. We also looked at how the changes would affect people who support disabled people. Not being able to go into the city centre would affect disabled people's well-being over time. Well-being is feeling good about yourself and being happy. Not being able to access community life every day would have a bad effect on people's physical and mental health. Physical health is how someone is feeling in their body. Mental health is how our minds work and how we feel about ourselves. Equal access is when something is the same for everyone. We need to keep people safe but also make it possible for everyone to visit the city centre. Stopping people with blue badges driving into some parts of the city would make it difficult for them to go to the city like everyone else. Keeping people safe in the city must include a way to allow people with blue badges to drive close to where they're going. These changes could stop people with a disability from going to the city centre on their own. The changes would mean people would need to walk more than 50 metres to get to some places in the city centre. People with a blue badge can't always walk more than 50 metres or it would cause them a lot of pain to do it. It can be difficult for some blind people to walk more than 50 metres. Some of the pavements and roads are not flat a person could trip, or it could stop them using a wheelchair. Using a wheelchair is not always possible. This is because the pavements and roads are not all flat. Some of the pavements are too narrow. There are not enough dropped curbs. Dropped curbs are sloping bits of pavement to help you move onto or off the road. There can also be things on pavements that can get in the way and people who are blind or partially sighted 
can't use a wheelchair. We looked at other ways to keep people safe in the city centre. These included a permit system. A permit is a parcel card to show someone can drive into the city centre. A shuttle service. A shuttle service is a bus taking people to and from the city centre. Neither of these things would be very good for disabled people. The changes will make things more difficult for some disabled people, so the city centre needs to be made more accessible. Accessible means it's easy to use and suitable for people with different needs. There would need to be more parking spaces outside the city centre for people with blue badges. Better access to the city centre from the car parks outside it and more accessible toilets. People we spoke to were also worried about Avon Street having no toilets. The dangerous steps between the train and bus stations. The bus station not being easy to use for blind people. The way to the Charlotte Street car park being uneven and bumpy, making it dangerous. The path by the Mambas Street car park being sloped, making it hard to use. And Seven Dials Junction being dangerous to use. To help disabled people use the city centre, we think the council needs to allow access to the city centre for deliveries and people with blue badges. Look at New Bond Street and Seven Dials Junction. They're important places and need to be accessible. Make it easier for people to find their way around the city centre with better signs allow bicycles and e-scooters to use certain routes and give out information in a way that everyone understands. What will happen next? The council will make a decision about what to do now that they know more about how the changes will affect disabled people.